Hey everybody, welcome back to Shots Live. This week we're back on the $10 boat. This week is all about getting that last compartment ready for the fuel cell. We have lots of work to do, so enjoy this episode. Now, if I can just figure out how to get down from here. <laughs> the things I do for you guys to get a good shot. <laughs> all right, let's get busy. No, really, how do I get down? <laughs> Hey, welcome back. Today we are uh, got a busy day. I did some uh, time work in the basement and uh, we're about to go to my parents' house. We're moving, you know, still moving them in their new house, setting them up. And then uh, we're probably going to go to uh, Lowe's to pick up some grout and some trim and whatever for the other project. But I figured before I leave, I should mix up some resin and at least get the backside of this board that's going to go underneath the tank done. Um, so that way it's uh, nice and dry for us when we go to actually put it in this week, hopefully. It looks like there's going to be a couple of nice days. Today's one of those, uh, temperature-wise. So, uh, yeah, I figured if I get this done, then we can do the thick and resin and get this board down, screwed in, and that'll be done. Uh, so, yeah, so let's just uh, resin this thing up, and, uh, yeah, we'll go from there. All right, let me get busy. All right, so that gets that done. I put a nice thick coat on there. I've got the windows open so the breeze can pass through here. Matter of fact, I'm gonna open another one uh, just so the air can circulate through here and come out. And uh, yep, we're gonna take off and uh, go get a bunch of other stuff done. I think we're gonna go to Lowe's and my parents and a bunch of other stuff, but uh, I'll see you in a second. For you, it'll be, well, for you, it'll be a second. For me, it'll be a while. All right, see you guys in a bit. Good morning, everybody. We're back in the hole of the $10 boat and i appreciate everybody's comments this week we're in here determining how we're going to do this hole right so i am going to put a hole in this thing lots of good advice i should have i should, wish i would have connected that before i closed that i just didn't connect the dot until i closed it and i was like well how is water going to get out of this section right um so originally there wasn't anything there we've discussed that uh, in depth in the comments of last week's video if you want to read about it but uh there are lots of good ideas you know put a hole there let it drain into here and then you could drain it out uh, then somebody came online and said, well, uh, that, that's sealed. This, this compartment sealed off with the, the, with the bung in the back so that if fuel leaks, then it doesn't get in the ocean. Okay. That's, that's good. I don't, that's a good thought. I hadn't thought of that. So, so I don't want to necessarily pump water into the fuel and then pump it out the back. Uh, and then somebody came up with an idea to run another PVC line next to this one from there to the back, put a bung in it, and then you could just release the water when you wanted to so i mean that's kind of a good idea so i think i'm going to run with that i'm probably going to put it on this side because that side already has a uh, pvc tube out for this compartment uh, the pipe of course doesn't sit in there straight that's just the way it this way it was um, so i think i'll come in off this side close to that one and then go out that side the one problem i have is that I can't get inside. I mean, I can, but people are asking me about access, but I'd have to go through this hole down here uh, to get in there and get back to this. Um, I'm probably not going to go through all that. So what I've decided to do, somebody had come up with the idea of taking a, a uh, fitting and then putting in a bunch of resin in there, gooping it up and then pushing it through. And then that way it would lock up. But what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this in half and I'm going to resin it in and that will allow me enough room if this is half that I can get my finger in there and then white and and push that resin up against it all around it on the inside of that. Um, of course, I'll resin it before I do all that just to seal it. So I think that's kind of going to be on my goal today is to get this cut, get the holes cut, and uh, and fitted. We'll run another another pipe from there back here that we can put a bung in and close this that section off but also allows us to be able to drain that midsection if we need to uh when i said it was sealed i didn't mean sealed like as in no water could ever possibly get in there because it could it, once it gets above this level here uh, and goes over that channel and go it can go down in there right because this is open up in, up above this where that wires are up in there right here that's all open and it can come back down in there um so yeah it's not watertight i understood that when i said it i was just saying in general it's not a compartment that water just gets in right i mean if you're sinking you're sinking right um so there it is anyway 
uh, it's a beautiful day outside. It is actually like a refrigerator in here. And then I want to open all the doors, but it's humid out there and I'm, I don't want the moisture. So uh, I'm kind of stuck in between. I may run the little heater for a few minutes just to uh, crank it up just in here a little bit. But it's going to be in the 70s today, 70, it's high, well, I think mid 70s, actually 75 or something like that, and then 79 tomorrow. So I definitely want to work on this while I can. So, all right, so let's, uh, I'm going to cut the holes for the fuel tank when, I, when I'm cutting holes too. So I'll get the vac, we'll cut some holes. We got to cut, cut a couple figure out the best place for them, cut the fuel line and the, and the vent, and then cut a couple holes back here, wherever they are, for all the electric wires to go into the fuel tank area for the uh, senders, so, the, you know, fuel level senders. So, with that said, I guess I'll get to work. I do appreciate all the comments though. What a great community. Uh, I put all your comments together and came up with this idea. I, I you know, it's, I did the military too as, as a leader. I took the best of the best comments and then kind of melded that into something at the top, right? Uh, and so that's kind of what I'm doing here. I think I'm doing the right thing anyway, uh, but it takes a village to raise an idiot. <laughs> all right, uh, let's get this done. And there's gonna be our little connector. I'll clean it up, but uh, we'll use that, put it in the wall. And then that pipe can just slide in there. I'll glue it in with PVC pipe stuff, you know, glue. And uh, yeah, I think that'll work great. Instead of trying to shove a pipe in there, getting it all clogged up, whatever, not being able to reach the other side, this will allow my finger to get around the other side. So I picked a, a hole saw that would be bigger than the actual hole. That way we can stuff thick and resin all around it, you know, goop it up and really get it in there uh, and shove stuff in there. And then that way the wood is really protected, even though I'm going to resin the wood first and let it suck up the resin, we'll come back and thick and resin this in. Um, I think that'll work just fine. Uh, we'll stay on this side, even though up here it would be better to be on that side. But when you go to the back, that's already got one on that side. So this side's nice and wide open. So we'll stay on this side over here. Um, yeah. So I'll drill both holes. We'll drill these uh, gas and vent holes and the electric holes. And then we'll mix up some resin and come back and put resin in. And I'll probably go ahead and thicken, make some thickened resin and put this in. Uh, so that way it can all dry up. And then I'll come back, slide the pipe in that way, and then glue it into this. All right, sounds like a plan. I've convinced myself that's the right thing to do. So <laughs> I just got to tell you 32 times so that I can think, yeah, that's right. All right, let me be busy. So that worked about perfectly uh, all the way down to the hole in the fiberglass no wood and then the wood starts on the side so we'll get that resin but then my little piece will go in there just like that we'll thicken resin it in and then you know i get my finger through there like if i was doing a pipe i couldn't get my finger to the other side this way i can get my finger around the other side and rub that thickened resin all around it to make sure we're good and solid and then uh yeah I can, yeah, get thick and resin. I'll, then I'll probably glue the pipe in. Then I'll come back around with some more thick and resin because I don't want to fill the pipe, right? And uh, we'll thick and resin in when we thick and resin the back. But uh, let me cut another hole in the back and uh, we'll go from there. But I think this plan is going to work. Uh, again, thanks for everybody's advice. Now, if you're wondering how thick my fiberglassing is with my board, there you go. So your board and then fiberglass and then your board and then fiberglass on each side. This side's a little thicker because the bottom was just the edge, you know, the thickened resin, but yeah, there you go. That's what she looks like inside. That's the core. So.
right, so that came out really well. We uh, got it again right down the plastic or the fiberglass just like I wanted it to. And then of course the woods are on the side. We'll get that resined up, but it came out nice and low. So it's still drain great. And uh, yeah, so that came out nice. Whenever you drill into your hole, it, it's just scary. I mean, I just don't like drilling holes in a boat, right? <laughs> so I'm glad these are coming out good. Uh, so we got to put the holes in here for the electronic, uh, the wiring for the sending units and stuff. And we still got the gas line and the vent line, which I need to get over there and make sure I measure, make sure I get the right size holes. Those should be accurate. I had it in there once before. And if you'll remember, I blundered after Paul Spacek at, uh, at uh, Patriot Marine Fabrication told me several times to make sure I had it enough and he would give me extra and I still didn't have enough. I made the same fatal mistake that he said I was gonna make and felt like an idiot, but he did, was gracious <laughs> and uh, gave me some extra long fuel, fuel hose uh, for a second time. So that really cost him. Uh, so I appreciate you, Paul, there at Patriot, Patriot Marine Fabricating. Uh, you're not too made by a tank if you don't know, if you're just starting to watch. Uh, if you need a tank for a Grady or any other boat, really, uh, check them out. They, they customize each tank. I mean, and they are just absolutely beautiful, beautiful tanks. So, uh, yeah, they made that one. So check them out, PatriotMarineFabricating.net. Uh, I'll put that in the link. I usually do anyway, but uh, check them out. All right, let's figure out what size that is. Let's get this in. All right, so that's going to be my bit for the fuel line, and that's going to be my bit for the vent line. So, all right, those are the sizes I need. Get the get the drill and get these things in. Pretty thick there. So those are in, that's for the gas line and the vent line, so that's ready to go. We just need to come back here and drill in a couple of these electric lines. I gotta find them, they're there already. I've just gotta find them and drill those through so we can get the electrical back into here from the compartment back here. All right, let's work on that. <laughs> All right, so you've missed a lot, uh, but boring stuff. I'm going through this, pulling this rat's nest apart. Uh, I'll call, make myself a wiring diagram or something so I can start taking that apart and getting it out of there. Um, I did find the sending unit, but I must have pulled it. I know, I remember it coming across here and being in the way, so I took everything out of there that I could when I was working on that. Uh, yeah, where that went to, I don't know, but regardless, that's some ratty crap right there. So we're just gonna get rid of that all together. We'll put some new wiring in. I think though, if I'm gonna run new wiring from the center, I'm gonna come in around here and just go in this side. Why would I run it all the way over and then back in? The only thing I can think of is if that's the motor battery and maybe the negative has to go back to that. Or the I don't know. We'll, uh, we'll cross that bridge when we get there. Uh, but I'm gonna put the hole on this side so I can just come around, reach it and go right in. If I have to run the cable back around over here, so be it, but I don't think I need to. I think it's just gonna go up and go across. I kind of remember it coming through here just being in the way all the time. That's why I took it out, I think. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna cut those sending lines right into here because there's no wiring going forward on this side at all. So come in there, go out there and then go up. I think that's the easiest path. So I'll drill those holes over here and, uh, and get them in. All right, that took me a while. You guys don't even know I've been off camera sifting through this wiring and whatever oh yeah the other thing i was like what's this thing here you know i forgot that they had it where they would had a tank in here for the oil of course these are vro motors uh and i hadn't opened this forever there's that tank of crappy gas in there and then there's this so i will pull this out and then fiberglass that in so it will be a live well once again uh and i'll cut that off and get that out of there uh i'm gonna mix gas that's what i've decided uh, in the tank. I just think that's a safer, safer, better way to run that, those motors. Um, so that's what I plan to do. Anyway, uh, yeah, this is turned different, but whatever. I'm going to cut yeah, that the off. the wiring. Oh my gosh, look at this. It needs some attention. But like all things, we'll get it. We'll get it. I don't know how exciting that'll be though on camera, me looking at wires going, hmm, hmm, hmm. <laughs> anyway. All right, let's get to work. All right about there, what do you think? I probably should put my hand on there and make sure. 
Nothing there. Yeah, there's nothing there. Okay. It's always good to check after you start drilling. Let me get this vacuum run. All right, so that'll work good. It's good size, and I can get uh, resin in there and get that all resined up in there so it doesn't leak. And then I'll probably just like 54, 50, whatever, 5200, whatever it is, 4200, whatever, uh, get that wire in there once I get it the right length and everything and get it set the way I want it. And then I can just run it back up to the front, all new wiring. I need to order a bunch more wire, that's for sure, because this is pretty ratty stuff. All right, so on this side now, the last thing I need to do then is cut the fuel lines in. Uh, these, of course, are trashed, but... Uh, Thankfully, uh, Paul, <laughs> I actually thought, man, I need to order fuel lines. And I was like, Paul, already thought all that at Patriot Marine Fabricating. And uh, I've already got brand new fuel lines to put in there. So this is the size holes I'll need. And I'll need two of them. There used to be four, but we're running one tank now. And those will come off the top there. Uh, so we will drill those in. Thank goodness Paul thought of this because here I am, how, what is it, a year later? Probably a little longer than that. And uh, I'm like, oh, I'll need, I'll need fuel line. Paul already thought of it. All right, let me get in here and get those drilled. So this is coming out pretty good, I think. We got our two holes drilled for our gas lines that'll go from the tank to the engines, and then, or to the, actually to the switches and then to the engines. But then we got our electric line hole drilled, which will go up to the dash. This from the centers for the gas uh, level. And then we got our main fuel and our uh, vent line for the fuel line. That'll go from there up to the, the uh, side there where the filler is. And then uh, we got our collar in and our holes drilled for our new midsection drain that we all came up with together. I gotta start remembering where I am. We got, I, because honestly, I've forgotten a lot of stuff that I've done because I'm so focused, or I mean, have been so focused on just getting the rod out of it, right? Well, now that the rod's out of it, now I gotta start thinking about how to put it back together and what I need to replace and where I'm at on all that stuff. Uh, so that's pretty exciting to get there to that point. But uh, yeah, anyway, just a, just a brain change, right? I've got cabinets in the garage full of bow parts and I'll have to get all that out and figure it all out again. It's kind of like the Corvette, right? Except for, thankfully, this time I've taken it apart, so I will re recollect a lot of the stuff on where it goes and all that kind of stuff. So anyway, let me get going.
Good morning, everybody. It's a wonderful, balmy day. I got, I got the doors open. It's I'm already in short sleeves, so uh, what a wonderful day. Uh, yesterday, we put the coupler in there and re thick and resin that in, and then we cut all our holes and resin those in. So today, we'll be putting this pipe in, uh, just running it from there down to here. Uh, I have some left over from other projects that I was doing for some of the neighbors, so that's going to work out great. Uh, number one, I get to use that that pipe up, so that's good. But uh, we'll get that in here, and then we'll thicken resin it. If everything works out, we'll thicken resin the rails and drop the plywood down on top of that for the tank, and we'll screw that in. And we'll let that dry, so we'll be in a good place. So uh, if we get a lot done, it'll be time to put the tank in. But I got a lot of work to do before I can put the tank in. I'm gonna have to move everything out of the way so I can get in here with the excavator and get that tank into the into the uh, area there. So we'll see what happens there. Anyway, I don't want to start thinking about that right now because I got to move everything to do it. Right now, let's just focus on getting this done. <laughs> and then we'll focus on the next step. All right, let's get busy. Oh, uh, yeah, so somewhere in here, we just want to stick out a little bit. We can still test fit it but i think somewhere right about yeah i don't want to cut it too short it's gonna get longer as i drop it yeah somewhere right there all right let's cut that off we gotta work and then too much resin on it to, for it to shove in there so i'm gonna have to grind it down just a little bit but i think it's gonna work i just need to grind it down a little bit so i'll get my little dremel out and just kind of clean that up with a little sander so that she fits but this is gonna fit through there just fine let's see if we got about the right length anyway before we do all that oh way too long way too long all right so we need to cut it right about there somewhere yeah that'll work all right well all right let me take this back out i'll cut it again and then i'll get the dremel i'll see you yeah, anyway uh, so i got uh the dremel and i'm just going to clean the resin out of this the best i can i mean i knew i was getting it in there but you had to get it on the back side some way and you had to get through there um so you know resin gets all over everything so let me set you up and we'll get busy All right, so that got it. So now we'll, I'll go down and get the glue and we'll glue that in there. That'll be really nice. And then we'll just thicken resin it in there. Oh, excuse me. And then we'll be done. So let me get the vacuum, vacuum it up, clean it up. Good. All right, so that worked out great. Um, great suggestions on everybody's part uh, coming up with this plan. Uh, I'm gonna let that dry for just about, you know, maybe a little, little while, I don't know, about a half hour or so. And then we'll go ahead and resin these in 
I'll think I'll, I'll make up thick and resin get that all tucked up in there same with that and uh, and we'll go from there we'll go from there yep all right all right so I'm back it's had plenty of time to dry so I'm gonna go ahead and mix up some resin thick and resin and we'll get thick and resin all around this thing and we'll get it in there
All right, so that's beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So we'll let that dry. And then uh, I guess it'll be time to uh, figure out how we're going to put the, well, we'll put the rubber, butol, whatever strips down. And then we'll figure out how to get the tank in here. Uh, it's getting exciting, isn't it? But once we get the tank in here, we'll get our all our um, um, lines run. And then we'll uh, brace the tank in and go from there. Um, on my board, though, I did leave it so that the water can down, run down on each side. So it just overhangs enough to support the bottom of the tank. But, uh, yeah, I think it's going to work great. I don't know. There may be some negative comments. There may be some good comments. We'll see. Anyway, this is the way it's going to be done. <laughs> all right. See you next week. there. Said I'd see you next week. Get out of here. <laughs>